Greetings everyone. Welcome to Laundry Day. This is a short video tutorial on how to do your laundry outside. As you can see, I have a very old Anchor brand ringer and two wash tubs set up. Um, I packed water from my spring and heated it up with propane. Of course, you can use solar heat as well if you'd like. Um, I am using 7th generation soap. Uh, you can make your own soap, but I found that this works quite well and it doesn't have anything toxic in it so you can dump your water straight onto the ground. I also use 7th generation fabric softener and if I wash with whites, which I'm not doing today, I prefer to use Mrs. Stewart's liquid bluing. Follow the instructions carefully, otherwise it will literally blue your laundry. <laughs> um, now. When I do laundry, I separate a uh, traditional style, darks and lights. Uh, I also like to turn everything right side out so that way when you get done, it's easy to just hang it on the line. Now, this looks like a plunger. It's not, we're not gonna get that dirty today. Uh, this is called a breathing machine or the breather. You can order it from Lehman's. It uh, is called the breather because of the weird mouth breather sound that it makes when you do your laundry. Now, I have filled my tub with water and with soap and with a load of nice dirty laundry. Uh, all you need to do is use your breather, plunge it around in there as much or as little as you like according to how dirty your laundry is. After you're de done with said plunging, you run it through the ringer. Now this ringer is uh, from a 1900 to 1910 uh, making of this style, so it's quite old. But as you can see, it still works very well. Uh, if you don't have access to a lovely old ringer like this one, not many people do, uh, you can order it from a company called Lehman's. They have a nice brand new ringer which uh, attaches to the side of your wash bucket. Now, when you wring out the clothes, these clothes are soapy, so you need to get them to the other side the, to be able to rinse. Uh, this style of wringer has a little hook, so all of your soapy, dirty water goes back into the soapy, dirty bin. Now, all you do is put it through, and you ring it and it goes right into the rinse tub. Now, when you are wringing things that have buttons on them or snaps like these, you should fold it so that the buttons and the snaps are on the inside. Otherwise, you will come up with a lot of broken buttons and snaps. For blue jeans, I don't recommend putting the button and the zipper through the ringer because it will literally crush it. Uh, on all of the old movies where you see people that are sewing buttons, you know, when they don't have anything else to do, uh, that's why. <laughs> so you should wrap those buttons up safely on the inside of the clothing and just ring it right through. Now, I'm not going to do the whole process because that would take a really long time. So just so you can see how you rinse you get in here and you can use your breathing machine to rinse as well. Um, that just stirs it up and gets everything rinsed out really nice. You simply unhook your machine here and then you hook it again so it's going to stay put and all your clean rinse water goes back into the clean rinse bucket. And you just put it right back through the other side after you have rinsed it. And then you have a nice clean item of clothing ready to hang on the line to dry. Uh, this style of washing uh, is a little bit of extra arm work, which is great for those of you who are trying to stay in shape. However, uh, it doesn't really take very much more time than doing regular laundry. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it was helpful.